Hey guys, Jess here. I'm back and I have another printer to review today. The folks at HPRT reached out to me and said, hey, we have a small format portable printer that we'd love you to give a review on. And so I happily said yes. Um, I'm always looking for new technology, um, especially printers um, that may work for this hobby of scrapbooking and memory keeping. So I was super excited um, to get this. So it has come, I've played with it for the past week or so to kind of get a little familiar with how it works. And I'm ready to share it with you guys. So as you can see, this is the HPRT photo printer. Um, it is a thermal printing um, printer. So it has the ribbon cartridges and not uh, ink cartridges. And uh, it has um, Wi-Fi Connect, Bluetooth, and it has a mobile app, which I really love. I can't wait to share that with you. Um, and it does the perforated 4x6 sheets, so um, not a little shy of a true 4x6 size. The print quality is great. Again, I will share that with you as well. Um, and so let's, I've already opened it up, so let's go ahead and show you the printer. All right, here it is, nice and compact. Um, let's see, overall size is seven and a half by five inches. So it's perfect, perfect for, for taking on the go. And I got this printer, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm like, this is awesome. I love the color, it's like this uh, cream beigey gray color and in the front here you have the tray in which your photo comes out and that's also where your buttons are so we have power and we'll get that turned on just gonna hold it for a few seconds on the side here is where your ink cartridge goes in so I can actually show you Um, what I mean by the ribbon. So this right here and it just slides in and clicks in there. You can get the refills on Amazon. I'll make sure to have all the links below. And when I opened it I was like okay how do I get the photo paper in there? How does that work? This is my favorite part. This is your photo cartridge um, tray. How fun is this? So here is the photo, as you can see, it's got the perforated, oh hopefully, yeah, you can see it. The perforated edges, it reminds me of the Canon Selfie, that same kind of paper. And you just slide it in, feed it through there, and then this clicks in to here. I believe I got that right like so. I love that everything is self-contained. I love that that stores up there. It is so fun. So I just have that popped in there and then we're ready to go. So we're going to move over to the app and I'm going to record my screen so you can see um, what exactly I'm doing uh, to connect the printer. So we're going over to the app called Hey Photo. Um, and I actually already have my uh, printer connect or identified. We can go connect. You connect it through Bluetooth or Wi-Fi network. So this, I did it through Wi-Fi because I find that to be a, a much nicer connection, an easier one, but you can do it both ways. So we're just letting it connect and we're connected, which is beautiful. So we're gonna go back. I love this app, it's super fun. And there's lots of op opportunities. So you can start with just doing a picture. And we just had Easter, so let's do, I love this one of my dogs. So we're gonna select this photo. Oh, we gotta hit the little circle. And we're gonna hit complete. And I can leave it just like this, and I can go ahead and print it. We can go to edit, and we can add filters. Let's see what different, I love the black and white. Um, 
but I'll just go through all the different filters so you can see. But there is a ton. We could keep going. But let's go back. I kind of like the moon. So we're going to hit the little check mark. You can also do adjustments here like brightness. You can photo edit right in the app. Uh, contrast, which is so fun, which I love that capability. You could crop it. So there's a lot of edit functionality. You could spin it around. I'm going to get out of there. You could add a fun little frame. Let's see what we have for options. How cute is that? I'm not going to add that. Uh, you could add stickers as well. They really outdid themselves on this um, this app. I am, have been having so much fun with this app. You know, super, super fun. And then you can just simply add text if you want. And they got these little banners too. So we're going to keep it plain and simple. And I'm going to call this done. And then we're going to go to print. And we're going to go ahead and print this out so you guys can see how the quality is and the overall functionality. And so we're printing. All right, printing is complete. And look at that photo. Now I did do it in the moon filter, so you can't see color. We'll do a color one next, but the quality is excellent. Excellent, excellent quality. Get up there. Look at those faces. <laughs> and as, uh, like I said before, it's got the perforated um, ends, so you can tear these off. And let's do a measure just so, just so you know, it's a four, it's a little under four inches, like a sixteenth, a little under four inches wide, so three and like fifteen sixteenths, and then as you can see here, it's about an eighth, so it's like five and seven eighths long. So not a true four by six comes out of this, but again, I find um, I it, it doesn't bother me that it's a little bit smaller. But I wanted you to, to be aware that the print size is slightly smaller than a true 4x6. But look at that quality. The app was super easy to use. Uh, it printed out really quickly. So let's, let's do one more, shall we? All right, we're back in the app. And let's do a collage this time. And like I said, we had fun with Easter. So let's start with some Easter photos. Oh. And remember, you got to like kind of select the little um, circles so we can that and that okay nine out of nine so it's letting me select nine um, so we're gonna say complete and then now here's where you can have a lot of fun you can do a simple grid but then you can start adjusting your photos and again, there's the color. So let's go back to the grid though. Like, whatever layout. So that's super fun. I kind of like that. And looking at the photos. So let's replace. So let's do that one. And then let's replace this one. All right. Let's move this one over a little bit. That looks pretty good. You can actually select and adjust the color of each photo on here. It doesn't have to be a whole. And you could shrink down the collage. You could make it larger. Um, you could change the radius of the corners and you can change the space in between which is super fun. And then you could add a background. Oh that's so fun with these collages. Right, so it's Easter, we could make it really fun and colorful, like Easter eggs, hearts. Oh, and you can choose a pattern and then pick the color. Oh, that's super cute. I didn't play with that feature before. Really, really fun. 
So let's go I'm trying to see how to change that. All right, back to white. So there we go. I just changed that back to white. All right, so we're going to call this collage looking good. Um, this looks great. I love this collage. And then we're going to go to print. And again, now you're going to see the quality of the color. And I just want to show you as it's printing, you do need a little space because it comes behind the comes out the back to run it through for printing purposes. So I think that's an important uh, detail to, to note. That looks awesome! And there we go, we have our collage. And there's the colors, they're vibrant and beautiful. The quality is great. It's awesome. So again, the app is one of my favorite features <laughs> on this printer, but I love how compact it is, how quickly it prints. All your options for printing, it's portable. So let's go ahead and just shut this down. We're gonna remove the cartridge. And I've got the little lid here. Close it up. Plop it right on there. And close that. And there you have it. How fabulous is this? Now as far as like cost um, for ink in the printer, I'll have the links below. Um, I get a lot of questions on, you know, what does it cost per print? And I think it really depends on um, the deal you get on the paper and the ink, to be quite honest. So uh, when I purchase through Amazon, I always like to leave the those in my cart and kind of monitor if they go on sale or not. Um, that's always a good trick. Just check them every now and again. Um, but printing at home, um, I don't, price comparison wise, you probably can't beat the one the one, two, or, you know, three cent prints that you get through other places, those deals that they have, the specials. Uh, but you, it's convenient, right? You have control over your print quality, your size, right? You can edit it. You're going to see what you're going to get. Whereas if you order them out, you know, you kind of have, it's always a risk of like what's going to come back, right? Uh, that was my experience anyway. So I'm a big fan of doing my own printing and I think this printer could be a really great choice. So again this is the HPRT mobile printer. I'll put the links in below but uh, I hope you've enjoyed this demo. Maybe this is something you're considering and thank you all for watching and happy scrapping. I'll see you next time. Bye!